Josh. Hey, welcome to Football 101. It's Dave Wyman from Wyman and Bob. And I want to look uh, during the bye week at a couple of stunts um, that are on the on the off or defensive line. And what they're called is a TE stunt, or you know, sometimes if the end goes first, it's an ET. But in this case, the tackle goes first and tries to draw a block away from the defensive end, and then the defensive end loops around. And and one of the reasons I want, want to talk about it is because uh, Daryl Taylor runs it, and he's so raw. I mean, this kid is unbelievably good. I've talked about him before on, on Football 101, how he has such a great knack for um, getting after the passer and, and turning the corner on the edge. But also, you know, he had, he had like three or four plays in the Jacksonville game that he could have made where if he runs the stunt right, maybe he gets a sack. Uh, there was one sack he almost got, but uh, Trevor Lawrence was able to get rid of the ball. He had a tackle in the backfield, and uh, Carlos Hyde just kind of slipped away from him. So, and, and these aren't criticisms. This is just that he has so much upside, and he's, he's playing so well. But remember, he's still a rookie. He was drafted in the second round 2020 and never played. So uh, I, I just think that there's a lot of room for improvement. So let's take a look at this uh, the stunt here. And, and in this case, they have Bobby Wagner up on the line. And so he's going to be the guy that tries to occupy the guard here, who, which is right there. And then and he could have been a little bit more physical and gotten down the middle of the guy. And then so what happens um, on this uh, TE stunt, which Bobby's not a tackle, obviously, but he's the first guy to execute it. He goes here, tries to draw this block from this guy, and then the uh, defensive end takes a step up field and then loops around, and then that way that tackle can't get to him. So, and then we'll see Jacksonville execute it really well. But uh, for you know, for Daryl Taylor, like I said, his his timing isn't like the greatest. And again, not a criticism. It's just that he's very raw. So now, look, like I said, if Bobby had come down the middle of this guy a little bit more, it might have helped a little bit. But also, you know, you have to have the timing of knowing when to come underneath that stunt. And Daryl Taylor gets just a little bit too far upfield. He just doesn't have a feel for it. And he will. He'll get it. But once he gets that down, it's a pretty easy sack for, uh, you know, for a defensive end. So, again, he's really raw. And, uh, and this isn't a tackle, and that's a linebacker. I mean, if that was a big tackle, maybe he makes it happen. By the way, on the other side, you can see that these two guys are going outside. And then you got Carlos Dunlap stunting inside. So they're also running a game on the top side um, with, uh, with uh, Carlos Dunlop there. And so again, you can see right here that uh, Daryl Taylor's gone a little bit too far upfield. So now this, this guard is able to pass Bobby off to the tackle, and then he's ready to block uh, Daryl Taylor. So, you know, just the timing of it, I, I felt like, again, that if Bobby had gotten more down the middle of this guard, then maybe there would have been some room there. Because what happens is the tackle can never get back inside. So, um, you know, I, I feel like if, uh, if he would have taken a little bit, you know, he probably should have started his stunt inside uh, back here, you know, about a half a yard back. But, again, he's, he's getting it down. And then you see how it ends up. And actually, uh, Rasheem Green, and sometimes these guys will come free. So these are the guys that are sort of uh, playing the stunt so that Dunlap can come underneath. And what happened is that the guard kind of tried to come off on Carlos Dunlap. And you can see that Rasheem Green comes free, and he ends up knocking this pass down. So it was an effective play. But you know, I'd like to see Daryl Taylor get a sack on this, and I think it'll happen eventually. So let's look at uh, how the... The Jacksonville Jaguars run this, and am I saying that right? Jaguars, Jaguars. <laughs> uh, anyway, right before this, I thought it was interesting. So um, this guy was moved over here, this tackle, and I thought these guys played kind of a game because the tackles kind of motioned him to, to get uh, – further this way. He was lined up almost next to him, and I felt like they were kind of trying to deke them a little bit, like give them a decoy and, you know, sort of act like, oh, you know, I need you over there. And so it kind of draws the attention to, um, you know, of, of Gabe Jackson um, uh, to, uh, to that player right there. So, you know, it's uh, just kind of a little thing that you do pre-snap that sometimes can, can maybe screw up an offense and, you know, sort of distract them a little bit. But the main part is, is that number 93, he gets all the way 
you know, uh, into the guard right there. And he's able to just entirely occupy him. So, you know, there's no way that he's going to be able to come off and block the stunt that's coming here by Josh Allen. He was their first round draft choice a couple years ago. And, and you'll see later that it makes it so Brandon Shell, there's just no way he can get to him because he'd have to go through this big pile right there. And Josh Allen ends up coming free. And here he is right here, and you, you can see the guard is just entirely occupied with number 93. There's Brandon Shell. He's got no chance. So, you know, Josh Allen's done this, and he did a really good job with his timing. You know, and I, I would think, like, for Daryl Taylor, he'd probably look at this tape and go, okay, that's how you run it. That's how a guy who's been in the league a few, uh, few years will run it. And then the end result is, you see, Brandon Shell just chasing uh, and really, this is a great rush by 93 right here. He actually beats the guard there, but still, you know, the, it, was, it was all about Josh Allen coming free there, and he gets the sack of Geno Smith right there. But, yeah, just the, the, the tackle goes out, the, the end goes upfield and then underneath, and that's a really good stunt. And I think if Daryl Taylor can get that down, get that timing down, like I said, he's very raw, he's going to get a chance for a lot more plays, more than just, you know, those edge rushes that he has that he comes off the edge and looks so good. Um, this stunt is really, once he's able to sell that, it's going to be something that's going to be great for his repertoire as far as a pass rusher goes.